Yeah, Alicia, we're on Walker's Cove Trail, and actually a lot of neighbors keep coming up to me saying a tornado hit this area. We haven't gotten that sort of confirmation from the National Weather Service. However, you can see how intense this storm must have been when it passed through on Friday. It snapped some trees in half, and there is plenty of debris still on the ground here along Walker's Cove Trail. But I want to bring you over to this area because this is where the real issue is for neighbors who still don't have water. Back in the woods here, there is a little a well house and I talked to some workers they said the meter is broken they need Duke Energy to come out here and cut the power off to this well house so that they can throw in the new meter and get things back up and running for people but believe it or not Alicia this isn't the worst of it we talked to a woman whose home was split in two after a tree fell on it she is absolutely devastated her home is now unlivable there are limbs scattered throughout her, her yard she is now sleeping in an RV on generator power here are her emotions as she looks at the overwhelming cleanup process. Heartbreaking. Um, just to see stuff. Sorry. <laughs> um, it was my home growing up. I raised both my boys here. A lot of memories that was in there that I can't take with me because they're shattered. Just heartbreaking for what her family is going through. The neighborhood still has a lot of cleaning up to do. There are trees that are still uprooted, lying in people's yards. So a lot of debris here to clean up on Walker's Cove Trail. And just as I'm speaking now, I'm seeing a few raindrops coming down. And I'm sure a lot of people, that's the last thing they want to see after what they went through Friday afternoon. Reporting live in West Charlotte, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News.